In this video, we're gonna be testing out this Vaseline jelly stick and we're gonna see what's in it and we're gonna give it a, a review, right? We're gonna test it, I'm gonna slug with it and if you don't know what slugging is, you'll just have to stay tuned to find out. I'm gonna use it as a highlighter, I'm gonna use it on my lips, I'm gonna use it on my hand. We're just gonna see if it lives up to its claims and its virality because it's gone viral on TikTok and uh, it's a pretty popular product over there. So let's just jump right into it. All right, the first thing I want you to know about this Vaseline stick is that people are saying it's Vaseline but actually, I would encourage you to have a little bit of a look closer. Uh, I discovered this when I first purchased it and I made a little TikTok video about it, so I'm gonna roll that now. This Vaseline balm stick has gone absolutely viral over here, but did you know with the regular old Vaseline, the only ingredient in it is 100% petrolatum, whereas in the stick, there's some other ingredients, including alcohol and coloring. Not saying they're bad, just check it out. So I said petrolatum in it, but it's actually apparently pronounced petrol atom, fine. Uh, let's call it petrol atom. That is what people used to call petroleum jelly. So this is just plain old Vaseline. Petroleum jelly can also be known as petrol atom. The interesting thing about pure old, plain old Vaseline, the kind we all know, the goopy stuff we have all seen, I would imagine at some point, is that in this, it is just 100% petrol atom. There's no other ingredients, but when you look at the back of this, it has some other ingredients in it which makes sense. If you take like a few seconds to critically think about it, we know that this is a goopy, greasy, very soft and viscous substance. And this is much more like a glue stick or a chapstick. In fact, it actually looks like a giant, it looks very much like a giant glue stick and it acts very much like a, a giant glue stick. You pull off the top and when you want more, I mean, look at the top, it looks like that. It doesn't feel like it though, luckily. And when you want more, you just twist up. So, um, there's that difference. And then some of the ingredients in here uh, include cetereal alcohol, paraffin. So paraffin can be a wax. I believe it is a mineral oil derived product. I actually contacted the people at Vaseline to find out what kind of paraffin is it? Is it paraffin oil? Is it paraffin wax? I think it might be a waxy substance because again, this is almost like a chapstick type product. It's a bomb and it's solid and it doesn't have the exact same properties um, of greasiness, liquidity, whatever you want to call it as just plain old Vaseline. So that's something to know. It isn't exactly Vaseline in a stick. Uh, it has as a first ingredient though, petrol atom. So obviously it does have Vaseline in it, but it also has yellow five lakes. So it's got a yellowish coloring in it. Um, tocopherol acetate, cetereal alcohol. I'm not saying that these are good or bad ingredients. I just wanted to alert you to the fact that they have things more than just petrol atom in it, which this does not. This is pure. This has additives in, into it, which makes total sense, right? Because if you look at it, this is a stick. Let's get into that. Okay, this is about $6 product. This is about, I don't know, a dollar or $2. Although theoretically they're the same thing. This says 50 grams on it. This says 40 grams on it. So this is many multiples more expensive than just plain Vaseline. So that's something interesting to know. In terms of texture, they are actually kind of different when you first put them on. This leaves a really, and I've been using it on my hand because my hand is terribly chapped because where I live, it is full blown winter. And I, oh, this hand gets more chapped because this is the hand I take out of my glove or mitten to like use my phone and stuff like that. And it just gets a lot more exposed to the outdoor air. Uh, it goes on really beautifully and very silkily. It feels like silk once you put it on. And that is kind of a different experience for those of you which I imagine is most of you who have used Vaseline before. Vaseline goes on very greasy as we know everything gets greasy. And that is one reason why people really do not like using Vaseline. So they are different, but the net effect of them is pretty much the same. This does have a much greasier, stickier feel. This has a slight sticky feel, but is much silkier just in general. So from a texture perspective, they are different when they go on. Now for some rumors that I've heard about this. And when I say rumors, I've seen these things on actual Vaseline's website about this product. Someone wrote that you cannot get the last 25% of it out, probably because like a glue stick, once you push it all the way up, there's probably like the pusher thing. I don't know what that's called. Like, sue me. I don't know what that's called, but the pusher thing probably goes all the way up. And then there's probably like a chunk caught under there that apparently you cannot get at. Maybe it's like chapstick or like lipsticks where you gotta kinda dig it out if you want it, which kinda defeats the purpose of that. But that has been a real frustration for people. I noted that that was mentioned a number of times. And then someone else said that uh, it changes texture after a couple of months, which like an old chapstick. Like if you haven't used a chapstick in a year, it gets this weird breakable quality. And apparently this gets that as well. Uh, of course, this is brand new. I just purchased this, so I cannot verify either of those claims, but just something to know. So they say on this here very clearly that it is portable. It has it in red up here and on the back. They show you that you can use it if you're active for running 
Probably if you get some chub rub, this would probably be a pretty good product to bring along with you. Um, travel, on the go, multi-use. It's winter here. I cannot test the claim of this being something you can put in your purse. I do know that it said that you have to keep it below 45, yeah, it says it here, 45 degrees Celsius or 113 Fahrenheit, probably because it will melt like crazy at those higher temperatures. So probably not suitable for you to leave in your car because as you guys know, when there's sun and your car, it will melt things. It will melt a lot of things. So um, probably this Vaseline will melt to who knows what at that point, so don't do that. Okay, so let's get on to some of the testing that I've been doing on this. Like I said, I've been using it on my hand. It's worked a wonder for getting rid of chapped skin. Probably really good for people that have issues using their hands or maybe they just don't, for whatever reason, are struggling to open these kind of caps, which can be kind of picky. All you do is unscrew it and put it on. What I've noticed though is like chapstick it has a tendency to get kind of dirty you know like fibers and stuff get stuck in there so this is not that old but i feel that i have been fussing with it a little bit to pull out little fibers or like you know just the crap that gets stuck on chapstick just on a much larger level honestly so i wanted to try this for you guys in the context of slugging what is slugging slugging very basically is a kind of it's not a new concept it's an old one but it's everything old has come around again and for those of you who do not hang out on tiktok they have fewer sort of um they're, they can be open-minded because the audience is so young they can be open-minded to products that we have long thought are just gross and not be for use on the face they are much more open-minded to using things like vaseline straight up on their faces and so that is a bit of a thing that's going on you can find some videos elsewhere here on YouTube about it, but what it is basically is trying to use or, or using a sort of occlusive layer, in this case, petroleum jelly, a very thin layer over your face when it is still damp. The reason being is that it will trap that water underneath your face, preventing trans epidermal water loss, I believe is the exact term. And so I tried it for you guys. I have never slugged before. This is my first time trying it on one side of my face I put just a tiny bit of this I didn't use very much that was important don't overdo it you see people putting a big huge greasy glob on there and I felt like that was way too much I just used a pea size amount and dabbed it all over and rubbed it in and then I did the same with this I needed to go over it quite a bit more it doesn't leave very much on does that make sense so in a way this was faster to use because you just use a glob drop it up this I had to go over a couple times but interestingly once I had them on, they felt kind of the same. I don't know exactly what's going on there. Maybe it's the petrolatum, sorry, petrolatum thinning out and melting into my face. I will say this felt a tiny bit more silky. This felt a tiny bit more sticky, but marginal, marginal. I would say that if you're on a budget, just use the Vaseline. There really wasn't any difference from the whole slugging perspective at all. But where this comes in handy, I guess, is the portability of it. And like I said, it does have a silkier feeling on the hand, oddly enough. I don't know why, that's just what I've discovered. The morning after the slugging actually felt pretty good. It felt sort of slightly moisturized, tiny bit sticky. You know, slugging is just not for everybody. My skin is quite dry, so I think it suits me. Something I might wanna do once in a while, but it just, it's a sensory thing, right? Like if we're honest, I don't like a feeling of a sticky face, then you gotta go put it, your face on the pillow, and then people are like, put a microfiber towel on your pillow. I'm not lying on a, like, no, that's just, that life is not for me. I'm not lying on a microfiber towel all night because I want to put Vaseline on my face. Like, gotta draw the line somewhere, right? Okay, so <laughs> let's try now as a lip balm, which I have not done, but I will tell you, I'm gonna just wipe off my lipstick here and we'll have a look-see what that feels like. So for those of you who are like, you can't put Vaseline on your lips, you can, because guess what? Chapstick, actually, I had a look at the ingredients in Chapstick because I was just curious how they compare with each other. They have a lot of ingredients in common, oddly enough, which kind of makes sense, right? Because this is kind of a large Chapstick in a way, or a large stick that has that waxy consistency that is consistent with what you probably most familiar in your life would be most familiar to a chapstick. So it has paraffin in common um, with it and it's got the uh, petrolatum. So chapstick apparently is 45% petrolatum, who knew? That's what it says on it though, at least the cherry version and the original version are formulated like that. So I'm just gonna put it on, feels nice. Feels less waxy than chapstick, which makes sense. Um, and less sticky and less thick because uh, chapstick also has lanolin in it, which is, I think, derived from wool, from, from sheep's wool. It's an oil, derived a natural oil. Um, feels good and I think it looks good too. It's kind of not as shiny as I would imagine Vaseline would look, but let's just try Vaseline now, just plain old Vaseline and see how that feels. So just the tiniest amount. 
Yeah, so predictably, the Vaseline is just much thicker, much greasier. It feels like it really just went in those cracks immediately. This felt a bit more like it just skimmed the surface. So I'd say if you have big time problems with dry lips, then just straight up plain old Vaseline, which has been around since the 1880s or something like that. I was looking at Vaseline's website, Petroleum Jelly has been around for a long, long time now. And it is um, an ingredient that a lot of people don't react to. So it is a much loved ingredient in the dermatology community, but it's really fallen out of favor, but might swing back again, uh, especially with this product, which is, you know, which is very viral right now. If I had to pick one, I would say this is better for the lips. Our last test will be using it as a highlighter, which is not something that I do all the time, but let's check it out. Now, I saw this again on the Vaseline website and I'm unclear as to whether the woman who used it straight up just went or she put it on her finger or even how she thought to use this as a highlighter, but we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna do. So I'm afraid that it's gonna destroy my makeup to be completely honest, but it's fine, I'll do it. I'll sacrifice my skin, my, my, my makeup for you guys. So I'm just gonna put it here. I don't know what it is about my face, but it always takes a few swipes to get things on. And uh, it left a bit, it took off a bit of my makeup, which I guess is uh, to be expected. It's okay, I mean, it's not the same as a shimmer. You can see that it did brighten it a bit. Let's clean this off a bit. So I'm gonna put it on the way that I know how to do it, which is just, you rub it on a finger, and then you take these fingers and you just dab in the places that you want it. Uh, and that has done exactly nothing. I don't feel like that did anything at all. I would 100% not buy this to use it as a highlighter. I don't feel like it's really doing anything except making my face kind of sticky and a little bit glowy, maybe just the tiniest bit, but I feel like a nice powder product can do that just as beautifully. Uh, let's try just with the plain old Vaseline just to find out. So I can't put it on like that. Obviously, that's gonna be weird. I don't know, I feel like they both worked equally. So if you're looking for a highlighter and you wanna use a Vaseline type product, I don't know, maybe just buy this one, it costs less. But again, you're paying for convenience, you're paying for this fun stick, or maybe if you have problems opening things, um, it's good for kids, I would imagine, as well, because, you know, they'll put half of this in their hand, probably. It would be very hard to do that with this, with this stick, although you never know. One never knows. Probably great also for just, like they say, um, if you run or stuff like that, maybe it, uh, it's a little more convenient for you. I have no idea. It's a fun product. It's $6-ish and so therefore affordable and uh, I don't really have a recommendation. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I think it's nice, but it did a really good job on my hand. So I think just for that, I'm going to keep using it because this hand is not chapped anymore. So that's pretty amazing and it doesn't have any greasy feeling where this does now feel greasy. So I'm going to stick with using that probably just on my hand. That's where I like it best. All right, everybody. I hope that helps. If you want to consider liking and subscribing, that would really help me here a lot. I make these videos mostly about hair loss issues and I don't take any sponsorship for those. I don't use any sponsored hair loss products in order to help women for free and to give them unbiased um, non-sponsored content and if you feel like that is a cause or something you'd like to get behind and then all you gotta do is like and subscribe and uh, we will see you soon. Thanks so much for spending your time with me.